Hi, I'm Lucy Bronze and these are some of the highlights of my previous year. From the post header. <laughs> we planned a planned that goal. Uh, done it in training a few times but I didn't think I'd honestly score it and yeah, scored at the FA Cup final, the first goal. But I hadn't won the FA Cup before this game, so to have scored the goal that set us up on the way to, to winning the trophy. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I was super excited, you can see on my face. Yeah, the celebrations of the FA Cup are strange as well because the way the league was and we still had games after it. So I'm thinking like, normally you go out and champagne and stuff, but I literally sprayed every single drop of champagne. I don't think I drank any of it because I was thinking, I've got another game next week or something. <laughs> that, was the, that was my favourite picture from that game as well as not even the goals or nothing. I had two bottles, one in each hand, jumping up. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I think it was the president of the Leon club. He came up to me just to say that I had a good game and that I was a good player. And I was like, I was so happy that someone from Leon fought that because they've got the, the best players in the world play for Leon. So I was like, oh my god, they think that I'm good. And then within a couple of weeks, there was interest that they wanted to sign me. So it was something I was never ever going to say no to. I had a lot of success at City, but to play for the best team in Europe, best team in the world, like and the players that I play with. Unbelievable and everyone knows that I want to win and I, I want to be the best. But to be the captain of when we've got a new manager, everyone's looking at the team because of this, that, the other. We're missing Jordan, we're missing Steph, we're missing Kaz. The team's in a transition and so many players are missing and, and then we're playing France, we're playing Germany, we're playing America. And he's like, right, you've got to be the captain. And, and I'm like, oh my God, please don't lose every game or I'm just going to be the worst captain ever. But I mean, the first game I was playing France. I play with these players every single day in France. I know them inside out. Luckily, I knew that they were going through a bit of a change and I knew that it was, everything was going to be fine. So, I mean, I was obviously happy to be captain. It was something completely different for me that I've never ever captained any team in my life. Semi-final Champions League, yeah, this is the goal. The playing against your old team, the team that you lead, to say that you want to win the Champions League with this new team and then you have to play your old team in the Champions League. And I mean, it's uh, ironic that I was the one that scored, but I know the girls were so excited as well. So it was a nice goal. <laughs> I always say every time I score a goal, I'm like, oh, I don't score many goals. I never score a goal like that again and then do another fluke the next year and score another mad goal, so. Champions League final, wow, this was hot. I don't think we played our best. Wolfsburg did well when this went in, oh my God. A deflected shot, wow. An extra time and then thank God it was extra time and not additional time in the start of the game, but. I think, to be fair though, it took that goal for us to kind of step our game up. It took us 92 minutes to actually think, right, we actually need to play now. And then this goal, what a, what a strike. Top corner. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is why I come to Leon, because every single team, every single player on the pitch can do something special, like, she's come on and scored that, and then, yeah, super sub Shanice. Yeah, this is when we all went and slid as well. Everyone does a knee slide and I, the same as the cup final, went and did a slide tackle. And then when this girl went in, they all went and celebrated on one side, all the girls. Shanice went and ran up and down this, uh, the side that we were playing on, screaming up and down the side of the pitch. But I don't think it'll show it on the TV. I mean, Abba, to me, Abba Lee, like, one of the best players that's ever played football. Yeah, the last, last year at Lyon, last ever Champions League, and she comes on and scores a goal like it's, I mean, it was perfect final. And I finally got a Champions League medal to take home. Yeah, and then that Champions, obviously there's so many of them, some of the girls have won it five times, two times, three times. I think it's only like me and Shanice that it was our first time with the trophy. So it literally didn't leave our side for like the whole, the whole night.
So I was getting physio treatment on my knee or something, and I was late for the meeting, which is standard in France that someone's late for the meeting, but it was happening to be me. I don't know if this was planned. They were like, they're like, Lissy, come on, you're late, like, when you go, when you go. So I'm like, okay, okay, quickly come in the room, everyone's there, and I'm thinking, Champions League finals in a couple of days, like, oh, we're probably watching something on Wolfsburg or. And then the door opens, and I look around, and I don't, I can't really see because I'm, I always sit in that same spot, I couldn't see anyone. Everyone's just like, way! And I start clapping, and I'm going, Mara, what, what are we clapping for? And she just started laughing, and then I go to his knees on this side, and I'm like, what, why are we clapping? And she's like, it's for you, it's for you, in a French accent. And I was like, what do you mean? And then she's walking around, and I still don't understand. And then she speaks English, and I'm like, okay, now I understand. And I'd just been eating a frosty cereal bar when they'd walked in, because we were training a little bit, and I was a bit hungry. So I mean, the rapper's like hanging out my pocket, <laughs> which is why they find it so funny. Because they were laughing at me eating this Frosty's bar and they were like, this is stop eating, you're always eating. If you just uh, turn around this way. <laughs> yeah, and then my auntie was there, which was funny as well because my auntie, she'd just visited Leon literally two days before at the weekend to watch my game. It was her first time coming out to Leon and then obviously she's walked through the door as well. And she's got that stupid t-shirt on that my mum, my mum got made, which they wear everywhere. Yeah, and then they did a little interview with me and my auntie. And my auntie started to get emotional. My mum thought, my mum was hoping that I was going to cry, but she should know better than that, that I'm not going to cry. So my auntie started getting choked up and getting a little bit emotional. My mum was dying for me to cry. She was like, oh, should we send, should we send your brother or, or your nan or should I come? Because we want to make Lucy cry. The BBC had tried to get Kelly Smith to come and give the trophy, but she couldn't come. Obviously, she's just, she's got a little baby and she's busy and things, but everyone knows that. I love everything that Kelly's done. So she sent me a video instead, so I was, I was super excited because I got a video off, off Kelly Smith and a, a text off Rachel Yankee. And I text my mum and I was like, how weird is this that 10 years ago, if these two had even said hello to me, I would have been so excited. And, and now they're sending me like text messages and videos and stuff to say congratulations. But yeah, like my team was super excited for me as well. Like all the Leon girls are so, they're so happy for anyone that does well. And there was, I mean, obviously Maro was nominated as well and she was so happy for me winning and stuff. And it, I mean, it's nice to be around people like that that are, are so happy to share success with you.